Welcome back to part two of this set of tutorials. Um, now it's time to get started putting together my podcast, my video podcast on uh, temperature. So uh, first thing I want to do is I need a new project and I've got my project library open here. You can see I can close that, open it. So I can go to the file menu and do new project. And I'll give this a little name here. This is going to my EMAD temperature project and it asks me here if I what's the aspect ratio that I want so widescreen or standard so I'm going to go with standard because the video that I'm going to capture with my camera will be sort of standard um, and my image is standard size so if I were to choose widescreen and I had a high def camera or a camera that would do widescreen like a high def flip camera um, and I chose standard, it, it, by choose, by matching my aspect ratio to the kind of media that I'm bringing in or the ratio, aspect ratio of the media that I'm going to bring in will avoid me getting black bars. Okay, with all that, I'm just going to select, I don't want a theme, I just want a plain, um, a plain look. Some of these themes are kind of fun, um, but for this time I just want a plain no theme I should say. So I'm going to create that. So that gives me this blank template that you can see down there ready for me to create um, my podcast. So I'm going to start off with just putting a title in. So you can uh, way over here on the left hand side there's some buttons here. There's one labeled T and I'm just going to put a really nice simple title. There's, all, there's a whole selection of um, options here. But I'm just going to go find this first one. Um, drag it onto my project into that first spot and it lets me choose a background color I think I'm going to keep it kind of, well, I don't know maybe I'll have a little texture here um, underwater okay well I'll pick one of these that'll be the background um, okay so once it's in I come up to the monitor window and here is where I'm going to um, type in uh, the title of this temperature that's my main title and under and the subtitle here I'll put my name okay and if I want some options on what this t text looks like if I highlight it and push uh, the show fonts button there oh, it opened up way over here let me bring it in you can see I've got a, uh, plenty of options here on fonts and if I didn't like this any of these I could go to the systems font panel change them around make it bold or not bold italic okay so you get the idea I think I like it bold and maybe we'll do this typewriter one okay once I've decided that I can click none and now I've got that's too big so I'm going to switch that um, okay that will do alright so there's my title and it's by default over here in my project it, by default it is four seconds let me just close this I can click that little X that slides away so I've got a little four second long title okay and it has a little fade in and fade out on either end so I can just drag my mouse back and forth across that um, the next thing I want to do is bring in um, one of my images it's a um, the image of a thermometer and then I want to, I've got a little script, a little bit of um, text here that I've written up that's going to be part of my, uh, part of my program. So I could either um, put my image into iTunes, I mean not iTunes, sorry, into iPhoto and bring it in via iPhoto or if I've just got one image here, I've just saved it out to one of my folders on the desktop, I can just drag and drop it. Okay, so my image comes in now. If it was an iPhoto, if I had images in iPhoto, the way I get those in here is again over here in my br media browser, this little set of tools on the right hand side, there's one of these buttons has a camera on it, so I click the camera, and when I do that, I have access to all the photos in my iPhoto library. Okay, and you can see them in there, and I could grab one and drag it in. Um, I'm going to delete that, we don't need that one in there, but you can see, without too much trouble, I can bring in um, photo. So if they're already stored in iPhoto, great. If they're not, and you just have one or two that you want to quickly use, um, you can drag them in uh, just from your finder. Okay. And then I want this this little 
window my media browser closed so I can click the same button again up here to slide that browser closed or I can just click the X and that closes it okay so now I have this still image that came on and it's just sitting there um, for by default for four seconds um, I'd really like that to be there for longer okay so if I want it to be there longer the temptation is to click and try to drag it longer you can see that does not work um, so if I there's a little menu pops open down here and I open that and I can go to clip adjustment okay and when I go to clip adjustment you can see um, I can change the duration here so since I'm going to be reading this paragraph um, I want this to be pretty long right now so I'm just going to type in um, you know 50 seconds okay and say done so you can see it stretches out now 50 seconds should be enough if it's not enough I can extend it some more okay also I noticed up in my window my um, monitor window that part of my um, part of my image is getting cut off the top of it is getting cut off I'd like to see that so again if I uh, come down to my clip there's a little button right in the upper left hand corner it's the crop button so I can click on that or with this clip selected I can click on the crop button here on the toolbar okay so this is the place where I can adjust some of the properties of still images um, if I want to zoom and pan which is called the Ken Burns effect um, crop is what's happening you can see that it's already cr it's, it's only showing part of the image if I click fit and then done you'll see that now it's not cropping my image at all but my image is a little different dimension than that 4x3 and so I get some black bars down the sides so that's okay for now okay so I have my still image in and I want to record some, a voiceover over this clip okay so to record that voiceover I select the clip and that's where you can tell it's selected because it gets these, this big yellow border around it uh, and then I'm going to come up to my toolbar across the middle here and there's a little microphone button or a voiceover tool select that and it asks me what microphone I want to use you can see it's set to record from my headphone um, microphone my headset microphone but if I open I can open that up I've adjusted the input volume all the way up that's what I like um, if you have a really good microphone or maybe you your natural voice is a little bit louder you might not need it that far up okay so with that um, I get this little message out to the side that says click a clip to start recording which just means I need to come down here and click on one of these I'm gonna click right at the first of this still image and as soon as I do it's gonna start recording the tool that measures temperature is the thermometer the scale used by most scientists is the Celsius scale, named after Anders Celsius. He developed the scale where zero degrees is the point at which water turns to ice, and 100 degrees is the point at which water boils. This unit of temperature is known as degrees Celsius. The thermometer you will use is glass with a narrow tube of red colored alcohol. The liquid alcohol expands as it gets hot and contracts as heat is lost. Okay, so to stop, all I did was just clicked with my mouse one more time and that stopped the recording. Okay, so now you could see that as I was recording, it was highlighting uh, red over the area that I was recording so I could see visually how much time I had left before the end of my image. Um, which is kind of a nice little feature. If these were, um, if this was video that I was doing a voiceover um, over, I would be able to watch the video as I was talking. We'll do that in a couple of minutes. All right. So now that voiceover recording, it went down here. It's this purple um, section that's sitting below. And if I wanted that to start somewhere else, you can see pretty easy just to slide this along. Okay. If I needed to edit this a little bit, if I had something on the end, you know, I'd stopped, you know, I wanted to trim it up a little bit. There's a little menu that opens up, and you can see I've got a clip trimmer. So if I open that up, it shows me my whole section here. So if I think, well, I don't really want that first part, I can move it to there. And when I say done, 
it's just the part that's white would show up or would play. So I can trim the beginning and the end. Alright, I'm going to say done to that. Okay, the other options under there, um, clip adjustment and audio adjustment. So if the volume was not loud enough after I listen to this, I can increase the volume of just that clip that I have selected. Okay, and I've got some other tools there, some fading and fade out we'll do when we add music. Okay, so that is the way I can get still photos in. Once the still photo is in, I can extend it so it has plenty of time, and then I can add a voiceover. Now, um, I don't want, you can see my, I only recorded 37 seconds, comes right to there, and my image is for 50 seconds, so I might want to trim that back. So if I select the image again, open up its menu, and go to the clip adjustments, now I know exactly how much I need, so I'll make this 37. And then that image and my voiceover are exactly the same length. Um, and I could change that. You know, actually, maybe I want my image to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to make this, say, um, 41. And then I can have a, 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 a second or two of the image and before I start talking and a second or two of the image after I stop talking. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about bringing in video you've recorded with your document camera or a webcam.